Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to make a quadruple slider card. Now I have made this on my channel before, I made it about two, three years ago maybe, and since then I've now brought out my own set of dies to make this card. So you can either look back at the old tutorial or you can use your dies, which I know many of you have, to create this version. Now you can create it with or without the plastic. With the plastic it will allow you to just pull one side and the opposite will pull out or pop out and then again here you'll see the opposite will pop out and it's just by adding a strip of plastic around the mechanism that you will already have. Really fun to do, I can't wait to give this card to my mum for her retirement because I know she's going to keep this displayed in her craft room and enjoy it for many years to come. So let me show you how to make this fun card. I'm going to be using the square double slider die set so you'll want to die cut everything that you would normally for the normal double slider which I've shared and I have tutorials and I'll link those up here but you won't need to use this one. So if you're gonna do it using the plastic like I've explained, then you won't need this. However, if you don't have the plastic and you still wanna make the quadruple, then you'll need to cut yourself four of these because you'll need one for each of the pull pieces. Again, those of you that have the dies will know exactly what I'm talking about. But for this one, I've die cut one of the stand, which is on the back there, so I've used the yellow. I've die cut two of the largest square here so I've got one for the front, one for the back. You will then want one in the next size down of the squares here, and I've used it for this white, which is my main top, and I'm gonna build up the flowers around that. And then you've got your mechanism piece here, and I've just die cut two of those. Again, if you're gonna do it with this and you don't have the plastic, then you would want four of those because you, again, you'll need it for each of the pull tabs. I've then also gone and cut myself four of the largest pull tab pieces here and then I've cut myself four of the next size down for me which I've stamped on. I've also added the stitch detail there which you also get, you've got the option to have it in there or not, it's entirely up to you. But that's everything that you will need to cut and then before I start putting it together I'll show you what I've used to decorate each of my pull tabs because you'll want to decorate these first before you stick them down. So I've got this one which is going to come out from the top, this one from the right hand side, this one from the left and this one is going to come down you know from the bottom. So I have used and then these are the flowers that I'm going to be decorating on the front. The flowers are from the box 15, it's the Linda Parker one. I believe there may still be some available, I have to check. Again all the links as always, as always will be shared in the description box below. So for all of these images here, because again it's the retirement card for my mum who's a crafter, I have stamped these different scenes using the Crafting with Friends and it was the A4 Creative Stamping Stamp set that came with the magazine. So I tried to do like a paper craft one. This one is kind of like her junk journaling that she enjoys doing and she makes envelopes and things like that. This is the sewing that she enjoys and then this one's here that's more of your art and painting. So I just try to you know pop them into categories there. So that's the one I've used. I took the mum for my topper here from this older Creative Stamping Magazine issue 14. It was handmade with love. For the happy, I've used the word happy that comes in this stamp set and I've taken the crafty section just from this one here, have a crafty birthday. I've literally just stamped the crafty. So you've got happy crafty. The lockdown I've taken from the Creative Stamps Missing Out stamp set. You've got it here and then retirement comes in this kit as well. So I really have taken all different sentiments from different you know, stamp sets to create that uh, one sentiment on the front there. And then all those flowers will be built up around it. So get these colored and then you can stick them onto your matte layer. So I think I'm gonna have the pinks coming out from the sides and then I'm going to have the orange coming out from the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna get them stuck down first. Okay, so I'm just sticking down that one as well. What I'll do is I'll just quickly pop in a very fast video of me colouring these and just showing you how to do the masking. So you just stamp whatever image you want to be in the foreground. You stamp that first, so in my case I've stamped this cluster of envelopes here. I stamped that first, then I stamped it again on masking tape 
then peeled the sticker cut around it, peeled this off and stuck it over this and then stamped everything else and that will then, when you remo remove the masking, all of these other stamps will be behind this image. So I'll pop the video in the high speed part now and you'll be able to see exactly what I mean and how I've done that. Next I've cut myself some strips of sandwich bags here. You can pick them up online in the supermarkets, you know, from, from many places. But what you want to do is you want to cut it so it fits just within the width of these strips here. So I'll take this one here and you're going to feed it in one of the end strips there. I've got static all on mine so it's sticking to me. Let's just get that one through. There we go. So don't worry if it's a little bit shorter. I've cut mine a bit shorter there, but can you see now that just goes through the end? And then hopefully yours won't have as much static as mine has because it's full of it, but it will be fine. It will actually help it <laughs> move even better because it'll be stuck to the cardstock. But can you see how I've just gone through this end one and all the way through? to that one there you can see it just slides okay and then you want to bring it around and then what I would do is pop, just pop your tape on the end of one of the pieces make sure it's nice and flat and make sure you don't have anything sticky I'm actually just going to cut the end off there because you don't want anything sticky touching here. I'll hold this up again for you in a moment. So peel the backing off, make sure that's nice and flat and then just bring this around so it's nice and taut and just let it sit over the top. And then you'll see I've got this kind of 
excess piece here. Just trim that away. And now you'll have this piece that will move from side to side. Now what I would suggest is have this join either here at the very end or at this end here. But you'll see now I'm going to butt that right up there. Next I'm going to pop, I would suggest that use the thinner, thinner tape you use the more of the side piece is going to show. So I'm actually now going to swap and use this thin red liner tape. I'm just going to run it right along the edge there. You'll be able to see this because you can you know, see that red tape nicely. Make sure that's stuck down. And then again, just take the backing off there. Now, make sure that's kind of in the middle. And then you want to decide which ones you're doing. So I'm going to do the left and right ones here. So the pink ones. Whatever's going to come out from for me for the right hand side, you need to make sure that the sticky bit is on the left hand side of this piece. So because I'm going to stick that there, I'm going to pull it across. So you need to work opposite to the side. So if you're working on the right, you want this to be stuck on the left. So hopefully that makes sense. And you can see exactly what I'm doing here. But I'm now going to line this up with this strip here. And then I know it's stuck on the, the plastic, like so. OK, so now you'll see that, that slides perfectly. So next, close it back up. And then what's going to happen is this one is going to go underneath once we've got our topper on, but you'll see as you pull it, this one will come out and this one will come out. So with that closed, you want to put your tape along this side here. And run it right down, get it as close to the edge as possible. Okay, and then with this one again, I'm lining it up with the track, not the plastic, so just lay it down. Like so, make sure your image is the right way up. I already checked mine. And then you can see they move really nicely. Obviously once it's stuck in the card, um, it's gonna stay there and it won't slide up and down the tracks either because we're gonna pop our foam there. So that's that one, but then with this one, you're gonna do it exactly the same way, but obviously you've got your images, make sure they're you know in the right orientation that you want them to be shown. So again, I'm gonna grab my strip here and just slide it through tell you how long I've cut this to as well because that will help some of you. This is roughly 11 inches so I'm just feeding it through the end ones and that one there and then again I'm just going to fold that one over. I'm going to run my tape. I'll, keep, I'll stick with the red tape while I've got it here. Try and keep your plastic completely flat. So keep it nice and taut, bring that over, like so if you do have anything sticky exposed use an anti-static powder and just brush it over or maybe some corn flour but brush it over anything that may be sticky. So again you'll see the join there so I'm just going to push that to one of the ends, doesn't really matter. And then again, I'm going to add my double-sided tape along the top there. And then I'm going to grab this one. So this is the one that's going to pull down. So again, I'm just lining it up with the track. Like so. So you can see now that will pull down. So then I want to flip this over. And you'll have that turned over, but I will run my tape along the bottom there. Make sure your image is where you want it, and then I'm just gonna make sure your plastic's kind of you know kind of in the middle, and then just stick that one down so it's everything nice and straight. So now we're gonna end up sticking this one over this one, but those two will pull out, and then those two will pull across, and then our topper with everything on it's gonna build up on top of it. So next we want to grab some foam tape. So I've got these strips here which I picked up from Amazon and I'll share the links below. So I'm going to close them both up. Okay, so first of all I'm going to run a strip along here and here. 
and take the backing off. It doesn't matter which one you have on stuck behind your front piece. I'm going to flip this piece over and then I'm going to make sure you've got kind of an equal border. I'm just going to stick that one down on top there. I just thought you're going to need to die cut another of these small ones. So it's that matte layer, this white one here. So just your smaller square. Die cut that again. I'm just going to die cut it in the same yellow. Okay, so just cut that one. And I'm then going to take some more foam, pop a strip along the top and the bottom here. And then I'm just going to lay this one so it's just got a little frame because so it's slightly smaller than the other yellow one there. But now that's just a double slider now, it's just locked in there. You can put your stand on the back if you want to have it, it's just a double. But I now want to add this one on the back, so I'm going to grab two more of my foam strips and this time I'm going to stick them along the side here. And again, make sure everything's the right way up. And then this one is just going to sit again. So you've got a nice equal frame within that yellow piece. So now you can see how we're gonna have our four sections. And then you've got your other final piece, which will be the same size as the front one. And that needs to go on the back. So I'm just going to grab two more foam strips and again, just lay one down either side. And then you just need to line this one up. I'm going to hold it up just so I can see it a little bit better. So now you can see our quadruple slider. I've then got my stand. So with the stand, you just want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. So you want to have a tab on the right hand side here, this small section. You will then have a mountain, a mountain a valley and then finish with a mountain. So you will have that shape like that. You're then gonna add your glue to the tab there and then just bring that side around. Okay, and you'll see it's a nice wide stand so it can take the weight of this card when it's all open. So I like to then attach the side that's joined. I'm gonna use my cloud glue and I attach that side to the card. So it just means then, you know, if anybody does look at the back when it's open, they, they won't see the join. So you want to make sure that it runs nice and flush with the bottom of that square and it's in the middle. Okay, so that's all secure. So now you can pull just one of each of the sides and it will open up the opposite one. So I just want to finish it off with my decoration. So I've already shaped all of my flowers here and I'm going to have... I think I had some like that. I've taken a photo, so I'll just have a look at that in a minute. But it's going to be something along those lines. So I'm going to have and then the pink and the yellow, and then I've got all these leaves. I'm going to add some Nouveau drops, and I may even add a butterfly as well onto the front somewhere. So I've just got my hot glue gun on, so I'm going to spend a few minutes just getting that all stuck down. So I've finished the card, I've added some Nouveau drops. I use the colour Carnation Pink, it's one of the crystal drops. And you can see I've got a few there, there, and then like a little butterfly trail. And then on the flowers, can you see how sparkly they are? And that's using the Spectrum Noir and it's the Crystal Clear Sparkle Pen. And then you can see when you pull the sides, you have those images, and then when you pull this one, you have those ones. And I've just cut a little section there to stick on the back. And again, if you do want to do that one, it is uh, two and three quarters by three and a half. And I can just write a little message there for her. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial showing you how to turn the double slider dies into a, a smoother slider, I guess. It's really fun, thoroughly enjoyed making this. So if you have enjoyed today and you're not subscribed to my channel, if you'd hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Also popping up now will be some more fun tutorials that you might want to watch next. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.